If you're like me and didn't play golf in high school, then you probably know the ultimate goal is to become a scratch golfer. In these first three holes, I'm going to show you what scratch golf actually looks like and how hard I had to work to get to that point. Okay, not my best drive, about 250 yards, and we are right behind a tree. Starting off with a driver, you're gonna notice it's not perfect, but it has gotten a lot better. And one of the main reasons is because during this winter, I hit my driver 100 times a day for one month straight. Here, it didn't help me out, so I take my medicine and punch out. Wow, that was kind of lucky. One thing to know about scratch golf is one great shot can make up for multiple bad shots. Oh, that's pretty nice. Come on, stick it. Wow, that was a dart. Here, I stick an iron to within 10 feet, then I stick a good putt to get birdie on the first hole. Nice, that's a good way to start. All right, we got 133 to the pin. Long is better than short here because of those bunkers. To become a scratch golfer, you need to work hard, incredibly hard. And even then, it's still not going to look pretty. Ooh, a little draw. I might be long out of the bunker. Oh, that was way long. Shoot. My first month golfing in 2021, I played 18 plus holes a day for a month. It might be long, slow. After that, I would play at least three times a week for the next year. It's not a bad chip. It's not a bad chip right there. I built my first golf simulator at a buddy's garage so I could play a few times a week during the off season. All right, a little tight, so I'm thinking about hybrid, but I'm definitely gonna go with the driver on this one. During the following spring, I would wake up early before work so I could play three oh, to four times nice. a week in the mornings. Don't go too far right. I might be right behind a tree again. Hopefully not though. And during year two, I went on to build an entire garage with an awesome golf simulator where I averaged 27 holes a day for the entire off season. Yep. Now, like I promised, for the first three holes, I showed you what scratch golf looks like and how hard I had to work to get to that level. Not a bad part. Good part. But at this point, it's time to tell you the truth. Oh, that was terrible. Ooh, it's going in the other fairway. I'm not a scratch golfer. And after all that hard work, my best I've ever gotten to is a six oh, no. handicap. On, get out. This may seem like it's pretty much scratch golf. Come back for me, that's gonna be pretty good. But let me tell you, a six handicap is nowhere near a scratch golfer. Oh, thinned it, no. Oh, that was terrible. But someday, just like you, I want to become a scratch golfer. So I started this series to help us learn as much as possible on the journey to scratch golf. I'm hoping I can help you by sharing everything I learned along the way, and I'm hoping your comments can help me fix the inconsistencies in my game. That ain't it. I'm gonna go with the hybrid. This just went from a very easy par four to a very hard par three. I may never become a scratch golfer, but I know the journey will be worth it no matter the result. Now, without further ado, thank you for joining me on Journey to Scratch. Don't be long. Stop. I send this one a little long, and instead of attacking for par, I'm praying for a par. I bounce this putt here like I tend to do with longer putts, and now I'm just hoping I don't get a double bogey. Just barely got the rim of the cup there, that was lucky. The hardest part about being a seven handicap is half the time you look like an amazing golfer. Oh no, stay right. And the other half of the time, people think you're lying through your teeth. Ooh, I hope I'm short of that bunker, I might be right in that bunker. I luck out here by going short of the bunker, but don't commit to the chip and leave it way short. Ooh, that got caught up. Not a great shot. I leave myself a long par putt, but fortunately give it a good hit and end up with a stress-free bogey. The bogeys are starting to pile up and I know I'm overthinking it. So I just decide to rip this one. That was nice. Oh, that felt good. I'm a firm believer that slowing down your swing doesn't necessarily help. If anything, I think it makes you get off your swing path a little more. The drive goes 260 yards right in the middle of the fairway, and I'm at one of my favorite distances at 120 yards. Oh, frick. Oh, one place I can't go. Right in a freaking bunker. Unfortunately, I can't capitalize on the drive and leave myself with a tough bunker shot. Stick, please. We're out of the bunker, but I sent this one a little long and things are starting to fall apart. And the minus one through three holes seems like a lifetime away. Roll, 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 oh, that was bad. I bounce my putt again oh, and pull it to the right. And the cold streak continues oh. with a double bogey. Even though I'm plus six, I kind of like this challenge sometimes. A little left, but a good shot. I like to challenge myself to see how well I can do when things aren't going well. We're on the green and reg, and now we just need a two putt for a par. Slow, slow, please slow down, please. The begging doesn't help, and now I leave myself a knee knocker for par. Oh my freaking gosh. 
And just like last hole, when one thing goes right, another thing goes wrong. I want to stay aggressive on the last hole, so I pull driver. Oh, frick. Stay low. But I duck hook the ball and leave myself in a tough spot. Instead of being able to attack the green, I have to punch out once again. Oh, roll up. I'm around 40 yards to the pin, and statistically, this is one of the hardest shots to stick close. Oh, roll for me, please. I don't commit and leave myself a little short of the green. I'm exactly 12 yards away, and this is my favorite distance to chip from. I like that. Roll up. Okay. That should be good. We limp to the finish with a stress-free bogey, and we finish the round plus eight. It's not the best round I've ever shot, but it's a great starting point to show you the deficiencies in my game, and hopefully we can only go up from here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you next week on our journey to scratch.